Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. We are going to jump in and play as... Um... Who should we play as? Tainted Isaac to Delirium for... for um, what's it called? Um, trying to get spin down is something that people have asked for. So I'll try and do that maybe. Um, we don't know what we're getting here unfortunately. Fettered Heart's pretty good though. I'll take it. Do you know what? I'll take the damage to go over here and grab this. Why not? Uh, Fettered Heart, yeah. Not not the best starting item, but pretty decent. I'd say pretty decent. That is a That was a reflected troll bomb then, somehow. And we get ourselves... Small Rock or something else. I'm really hoping we get the Small Rock, but... We genuinely don't know. I did get the Small Rock, lovely. Rather have the damage up early. They yeah, are fettered, basically enemies that every now and again are going to have this fettered stat on them. When they do, um, we will deal damage to them and it'll deal damage to the entire room. It's very useful, although the proc rate of it isn't super high and it depends on the enemy that's fettered to how useful that is. Right. Do you know what? Let's let's grab Plum Flute for now because um, it's an item that doesn't take up um, any space. I think that's more valuable. And also, there's a lot of boss items that are crap, so... There's a lot of them that are good, but there's also a lot of them that are crap. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. That was kind of magical. <laughs> right. A few more seconds. And we're good to go. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't count towards our total of items. So we'll take the, uh, the flute there. And we'll just keep her going. So far, first floor, not too bad. As for the question of the day today... Are you a hot food enjoyer? And if so, what is your tolerance for hot food? I've spoken about it on the channel a lot before. I have an insanely high hot food tolerance and I really, really love it. Um, I have eaten some things that are... Uh, that have... I say I, I was going to say that would make a grown ran, man, man cry. A more accurate statement would be they have made a grown man cry because I cried while eating them. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I cried. Ah, oh, yeah. Some, some people are really adverse to spice... And honestly, like, some people I get, some people, like, have some sort of, like, insane sort of over-the-top reaction to it. I know a few people that, like, the, any amount of spice and they, like, start getting itchy or, like, really sweaty. So I kind of get it in that case. But people that, like, don't like spice at all just because they don't like it, just... You need to build your tolerance a little bit. It takes a little bit of doing, but I, I just think the, the world of food opens up so much if you, um... If you let yourself, like, if you build up your spice tolerance a little bit, it's not like you have to build it up a lot. I'd say, I'd say a good spice tolerance level to have is being able to enjoy a madras curry. A madras curry is, is about the level where I feel like that's like you've, you've got a decent tolerance going. Um, anything more than that is just like mostly unnecessary for most meals. But yeah, I, f I feel like if you can, in if you can eat in a madras curry and stand the heat and enjoy the flavor, then there's a lot, it, it opens you up to a lot of meals that could be really good. Okay, that didn't, didn't help anyone or anything. Spawn treasure rooms in the sh uh, and shop in the cathedral, I guess I'll take it for now. Okay, this guy's going to be a bit of a pain. You could stop with all your spewing of shit. Thank you. We've got good damage going on now. Good stats and stuff. So I'm pretty confident with how things are going. And our active item is good stuff. Ooh, this is tricky. Tears up, or no, let's go with this because it's tears up and HP up. And if we remove it, we keep the HP. Glad I managed to get that devil deal there. Pretty happy with it. By the way, just have to explain some things. Someone left a comment in one of my videos recently telling me, because uh, I, I, I recently uploaded the, um, the Eve run that was super, super laggy. And after that, I uninstalled a few mods that were unnecessary for my save file, or at least what I considered to be kind of unnecessary. Um, I guess we'd rather have Cracked Orb, it's not ideal, but there you go. Um, and someone said, hey, 
like, have you tried uninstalling rune rooms? Do you know the one that adds those cool rooms in that have, like, the runes on the floor and they do stuff? And I was like, no, but they were like, oh, it made my game lag like crazy. I've got to say, after seeing their comment, I've uninstalled it, and the game is running way, way better. Like, that rune, that that mod is laggy, boy. Um, We will take the, the snake boy for now, I think. We will take snake boy. Yeah, I don't, don't know what, what's up with that mod, but it's running way, way, way better. You see, this is the first fucking fettered enemies we've seen so far. Yeah, not quite sure what to say, but yeah, that, that mod is either doing some wacky stuff or it's got some poor coding behind the scenes. But yeah, my game is running infinitely better after I removed that, so thank you for letting me know about that. Big props to you. Right, no devil deal here. We're definitely going angel. Definitely going angel. Sorry, man. I don't have your contraband. Go, snake boy. The snake boy isn't that strong. I really don't know why it's quality 3. I think it should be quality 2 or even 1. But it's better than um, continuum. Like, it just doesn't kill that fast. And it's it's not very accurate with hitting enemies. Um, yeah, let's go with that. What? I did not mean to spend a key there. Oops. Um. Yeah, that's, that, that wasn't intentional. I guess we'll open that up now. That's out of the way. Uh, I'll spend some money on this, try and get some cards or some soul hearts. Or nothing. I'll, 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 I'll accept nothing too, thanks. Got out my boy here to uh, do some good stuff for us. Hopefully he kills a few fellas. Okay, there you go. Snake's doing some good work now, actually. Maybe I underestimated him. I suppose he does have a big hitbox, which makes him better. Got a key back. Thank you. Still no soul heart, which is a little annoying. Don't know what this is, but I'll gamble. That's just a yum heart. <laughs> ah, bugger. You could have given me anything. You could have even given me a thingy. Uh, heart. Ah, balls. It's a boss I really struggle with not getting hit against. For multiple reasons. One of them being that. Other one being that. Yeah. He uh, he just kind of plops things on you. Luckily, he's not got a lot of health. But yeah, if he summons the bats like next to you, it's kind of tricky to not get hit by them. Oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> How dare you with that hit? How dare you? Right at the end of the goddamn fight, you absolute fucking sausage dog. Cock. Bitch. I'm annoyed. I mean, it was only a 30% chance anyways, but come on. I was like, so close, and I got fucking backed into a corner. Yeah. <laughs> Backed into a corner again there. Why is that room over there on the map, but like... Oh, cracked orb. I forgot I had that. It's like, why is that room revealed, but I'm nowhere near it? That's exactly what cracked orb does, turtle. That's what cracked orb has always done, turtle. I do have to remember that cracked orb can give you free entry to a lot of t room types. Right, keep on pushing on. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, there's just there's a ton of mods I'd love to have enabled. That unfortunately, the, the, this game's API for modding is just so dog shit that you just can't. It's a real, it, it's really upsetting. But 
Real problem, but I don't think it'll ever be fixed. We do have secret room revealed, but we don't currently have a bomb for it. Our sneaky boy should do a good job of taking care of um, of these dudes over here. Yeah, there you go. Dead. Come on, drop us a bomb. You know you want to. Ah, oh, dude. These enemies have been terrible for us right now. Ah! Let's not die, shall we? Hey, there's the bomb we're looking for. And we get ourselves. I guess we'll go for this one. Oh, we need a another bomb! Heck! How dare you, game. At least we got enough keys to get into our item room. Damn it, just after I spent a key as well. Papyrus rags. Ooh. Ooh. I've just had an interesting thought. I've had a very interesting thought. So we just got Papyrus' rags, right? Papyrus' rags activates a book every third room. Use a random book every third room. Use a random book every boss. But, hold up. Hold the phone. What if we take this? Books now activate another random effect. With this. You see my thinking here. What if every third room and every boss fight, we activate another active with the book? I'm curious to see if this works the way I think it will. Now at the minute, I'm not particularly jazzed about the uh, prospects of getting an angel deal with my current HP. But we'll see how it goes. So that, I didn't see an additional effect there, but some of them it's kind of hard to see, so... Right. Highest priority right now is don't die. Second priority is just don't get hit for angel deal. So we should activate a book here. I'm not quite sure what that did. Oh, it just bled everything. Good. Coins will drop more often. Let's just use that now. My nice secret room proc there. Lovely. Unfortunately, this guy's bleeding does nothing, so it only affects moving enemies. Burn heart is a bit of protection, at least. Yeah, so far it's been kind of hard to see. I'm sure there'll be some actives where it's really obvious that it's activating a second effect, but so far not so obvious yet. Don't know what book that even was. It looks like it's not working at the minute. It looks like the, the, it has to be a book that I physically activate. Excuse me, that was an absolute yeet of a shot, you frog fuck. Good. No soul heart for fuck's sake, game. No red hearts either. I, I'm. Come on now. I'm destitute here. Oh my god. This is stressful. From my angel deal. Hearts ain't dropping though, right. Unfortunately, I made an error here. Soul heart, soul heart, soul heart. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Uh, we will get rid of the bacon grease for the Immaculate Heart. Full heal as well. Beautiful. Um, right. Ah, the, the key piece doesn't flip. At least it's more eternal heart chance, I guess. More angel deal chance. That was stupid. Didn't mean to do that. Um, item room. Let us go back to it. Okay, things have really turned around after that boss fight. I can't believe I managed to get Soul Heart in the middle of the fight, and I got um, the Bombonomicon that gave me Rocket in a Jar with Golden Bombs. That was pretty funny. But yeah, if anyone out there is using the Rune Room mod, make sure you disable it, because right now it is not coded in a way that is good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this is confusing. These enemies don't have, um... Okay, I don't like this. I'm just gonna leave and come back in and hope that stops. Right, um... I can pay to get a duplicate of one of my items here. I'm going to do that. Small rock. I can get a double small rock here. That didn't give me any damage. But it did give me more speed down. Why didn't it give me any more damage? That isn't really worth it. Why didn't it give me any damage? I'm very confused by that. That is pretty awesome. I don't know if having two of them does anything, but I'm going to take two of them anyways. Right. Away we go. Oh, God. A little bit stressy. A little bit stressy spaghetti, but we're good. Don't know why I came in here. Just kind of went the wrong way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know why my duplicate item there wasn't giving me extra damage. It really should have done. It was giving me the extra fire rate and the extra speed down. I'm a little bit confused, I must admit. We technically could try for boss rush here. Whoa. Technically tr could try for boss rush, but we're not exactly on the best time at the moment, so... I'm not sure how likely it'll be. Good hit, good sir. Oh, double brimstone. He went for the triple brimstone there. No, thank you. No item, though. That's upsetting. A little bit of fettered. Four bombs worth of pickups. Thank you. It said that I used uh, Book of Shadows there, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have the bubble around me, so I'm not going to trust it. How are you not dead? There you go. Extra bombs. Horrible room here. Try and take out the fettered one first. Interesting room design-wise, but horrible gameplay-wise. Okay, just a card. The world is pretty good for the next floor.
Dude, how am I dodging all these shots right now? This is crazy. Keep it moving. Key, I'm sorry, but I don't care about you much. Okay, boss rush is probably out of the question at this point, let's be honest. We're already on 18 minutes, we've not even found the boss yet. We've not even found an item room yet. Is this an Excel floor? It's not. Why is this floor so goddamn big? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not happening. This floor is fucking massive for some reason. <laughs> Give up on the dream, try and find item room instead. Get out of here, ghosty boys. Probably up this way, right? We're on 19 minutes right now, we'd have to complete the other floor in a minute. Even with a world card, that's not particularly feasible. Heal spurs, yes. I guess we can get rid of the second one of these. I don't think it's doing anything. I heard a little noise there. I'm not sure what that was, but there you go. Heal spurs is legitimately insane, so this is good stuff. Right. Let's get going. Oh god, I didn't realize you spawned stuff there, that was scurry. Post on Turst is a bit of damage up, but I'm not going to keep it, so let's just take the uh, HP up and drop it. Oh, here we go. Reasonably happy with my items right now. Could definitely get some more like angel deals going to get some better stuff. Forty-two percent chance of angel right now. Stuff. Give me that bomb. Oh, we should use our well card here as well. There you go. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think my trinket is working the way I hoped it would, which is a shame. Oh, this this, this room isn't anything. Really bad at finding secret rooms in these. Yeah, see, but where is it? Is it like here? There you go. Ooh, hello. We got multiplier or time itself. Uh, we'll take time itself and we'll take it over... I don't actually know. Fettered heart probably at this point, because Fettered just isn't really doing too much for me. The time itself shots are pretty goddamn good. All the shots pass through him. Oh ho ho, yes. Okay. Uh, and now we'll take this over maybe this. It's pretty big tears down. Maybe I'll take it over the snake. It's, snake's f fun, but just... See what that does to us. Base damage of 4.98. Okay, yeah, we'll take it over the snake. I'd rather have the tears up. The snake's fun, but the tears up is is particularly quite useful. Um, and with this set, I'm in a good position right now. I think I've got some very good items going on here. Um, let's take a few players at this. Get us up to 15 cent. Make the shop worthwhile. Oh my god, my arm is itchy. Apologies. I wish I had that fucking rainbow poop there now. I accidentally destroyed it. Wasn't really much way to avoid it, to be honest. Go, my techie boy.
Good stuff. A hey, healing that up. I see you back there. I'm not gonna let it happen. Oh my god, my arm. One second. It's so itchy. It's always when I'm recording that shit like this happens. Oh my god, what's going on with it? Pretty good trinket. In fact, probably better off I take this because the book cl thing clearly isn't working the way I hoped it would. Ah, I lost my burn heart. Not ideal. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Right. What do we want? I mean, we know Bomonomicon is real good. Bomonomicon's pretty much the one I always take. Um, it's just so goddamn good. I'm just thinking, is there anything else we want to take here? Yeah, let's take Bomonomicon. Just because I, I, I love it. But then let's pick up that trinket again, because then it's more useful now. I don't know why I used it there. I thought I had enough to buy that battery charge. I did not. Yeah, Bomonomicon. Real good. Probably a bad idea here. Oh, I blocked that shot somehow. Good, good. Litter bombs we've got right now. Oh, the fires. Them fires do some good work, baby. Okay, and then we take the negative here. We we'll continue on down. I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. <laughs> yeah, Bomb and Omicron gives you one bomb, one bomb synergy for the floor, and explodes every enemy in the current room you're in. It's very good. There was another uh, passive item in that library room that makes it so that... Um, Every book has an additional effect that it procs, which could have worked with the, um, the Pirate Shrags, but I wasn't sure. Dude, that was a fucking yeet of a, of a shot there. I think I'm one off losing my angel deal here, so let's be slightly more cautious if we can. Although I'm not guaranteeing that can happen. The cautiousness is not guaranteed. Do much for us. Right. Keep this moving. Yeah, there you go. Sad bombs. Just without mapping now, we just gotta hope we go the right way. I don't know what this guy does. Okay, he fires three sequential shots, one bigger than the last. We can deal with that. Okay, those mouthy boys, not my style. Good, good. Extra keys, thank you. I don't know why I used that there when the boss is literally right here. My bad, I guess. Oh, I got Ipecac. I don't... Oh, I activated the um, thingy book. There's a book that gives you Ipecac for a room. That was slightly confusing. Um, okay, what we got going on here? Damage and shot speed is good. Um... I think I'll take that over this. We're up to... Oh, wait. I need to reset my damage to see. One sec. Let's go in here first. See what we got. Nothing of value, really. Um, does this give you a, spec a thingy heart? I don't think it does. 
Flight Plus Spectral, not really good enough to take for any of my items that I've currently got, I don't think. Um, we are currently at 9.19 damage with this. And yeah, so this is better damage up, we'll take this. Right, let's go. Satanic Bible there, and a good floor to use it on as well, because it doesn't affect our boss item. We do have smaller tiers now, from the sour thing, but smaller tiers isn't really that big of a downside, in my opinion. Like, it, it only affects a few things. Fire a fire, come on. Shoot a fire, shoot a fire. Oh my god, there you go, finally. Eternal Heart, good stuff. A room I want to immediately leave, good stuff. I don't even want to immediately leave. Good stuff. Bombing out of rooms all day, every day. Get those out of the way. Easy. Oh my god. The keys, baby. The keys. The keys, please. Navigating that room's a little annoying, but not awful. Right. God damn, the key situation's crazy. We've got Ipecac going again. Oh, got me hit. The Ipecac itself didn't hit me, but I was being too wary and it got me hit. Yeah, I've not used my book because I want to save it for using on Hush. I, did that rocket in a jar seriously miss? What the fuck's... The time thing's making it miss. That's bullshit. Keep firing because our shots can delete these shots. Our fires. Good, good. We could go straight to Void, but we might as well do uh, Hush first because then we can get some extra items. As difficult as Hush is, more item choices going to be get good. Oh, this is this is good. Extra damage against bosses and champion enemies. That's a huge damage increase. We're going to take that over this, I think. Yeah. It's tricky to decide. None of them are worth anything to me, sadly. The battle axe is pretty good. Um, I don't know how Sculpting Clear would work. The Battle Axe is pretty good. I'm curious to see. I'm going to take this in the in the hopes this works the way I think it does. Yes, I just gained the item. Okay. We got a Joker card here as well. We'll pop that now. Um, we'll take that over this. We'll take that back. We got an extra item. Huzzah! I mean, at this stage, we're probably better off with the clear, maybe, but nah, I'm going to stick with this. He was in the shop real quick. Sister's pretty good. Ten times the damage multiplier for the first thingy. Uh, nothing. Great. It does nothing on this floor. Okay, we'll just stick with what we got going on right now. Do you know what? I think I think the the uh, thingy Papyrus Strikes thing just absolutely fucked me. You know, it it used that item where I gain a black heart but take double damage. So for the entire fight now, I take double damage. 
<laughs> oh wait, no, 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 no. I think it's only while you're holding it you take double damage, not in the room you use it in. Okay, so we might be okay. We might be okay. Okay, we only have two looks. So we're not going to fire a ton of fires here, but they'll come out on occasion and do some good work for us. I don't know what bomb we got from our... Oh, we just got scatter bombs. Ooh, you can push through and... Oh, okay. Oh, my. Okay. That's kind of broken. That's worth remembering. Time itself plus bombs. I think I have seen that happen before. It's just been a while. Oh, dude, these flies. Can you fuck off? That's insane. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. I can't do anything. Dude, you went underground, the fucking... Oh, you got my eternal heart, you fat shithead. Goddamn, Hush is such a bitch. <laughs> Right, away we go. Away we go. Right, we want to do all of the rooms before doing any of the bosses to get as many bomb synergies as we possibly can and get as many bombs as we possibly can. So don't go into any of the bosses first. So all that's nice there. We want as many bomb drops as we can get many uses of our book as we can possibly get. Because I don't want to go into bosses because I know I'll accidentally fucking go into the delirium one. I'll go into it if it's clearly not delirium, but otherwise, yeah, no. Brimstone bombs is a good one. No thanks on that. See for Pirate Strikes ends up giving us some good stuff as well here. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit by that guy. Half a red heart back over that way. Another charge is ready. Ooh, we'll keep that rainbow poop there for a rainy day. More bombs. Excuse me, that took away charges from my goddamn active. What the hell happened there? My active was ready and it took away charges. Not okay with that. I don't know what bag this is. I don't know what mod that's from. Blood bombs on top of that as well. Extra bombs back, that's lovely to see. He fell over. Okay, I got some of these ghosty boys to deal with. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Oh, there's a bomb in there. Okay, good stuff. Another boss. Like I said, I'm not going to do any of the bosses until I've done as many rooms as I can. Get a fire on this guy, please. Missed with the fire, great. Three bosses down this way. All of them could be delirium, apart from maybe this one. Keep that round hoop there in case things get a little hectic.
but bombs in there too. Curse of the Maze, lovely. It's definitely not going to fuck us over by teleporting me into a boss room at some point, is it? Fuck you. Wait, I have to kill you to get out? I do, what the fuck? Normally you'd have to kill these guys. Weird. Okay, sleepy peepee -pee boys, good good. More bombs. I love the rework to this guy. So good. Scatter bombs. Scatter bombs seems to get real glitchy with uh, the timeless thing. Unfortunately, that's not very good for us. Right, looks like we're probably going to get maybe two or three more players on our book here, and then we're game over. We're back to fighting bosses. Ooh, one second. Right, let's keep this going. No creep for me, thank you. Ah! Okay, found another boss. Oh, God. Slightly tricky room here. Not that worried about hard rooms because we've got that rainbow poop. This certainly isn't the worst fucking room ever. Get out of here, you. God damn. Okay, so the glitter bombs go go wild here. Glitter bombs go a little insane. Oh, dude. Nice hit. And take care of that. You're so teeny. Okay. Fires are lovely. More bombs is lovely. Brilliant. So many more charges. To 19 bombs as well. We've still got quite a lot of rooms to go as well. Dude, there's basically no way I don't hurt myself when I use that, unfortunately. But luckily, I do get red heart drops out of it. Rather nice. What does that page do again? I never remember. Nah, we don't need it. Okay, so we've probably got one more charge in the rooms, so then we've got to go for boss fights. Hope we don't get delirium too early. Remember to take that rainbow poop before we go fighting bosses, is all. There's so many more rooms than you'd expect. I love it when it does that, where it just fires out a ton of those fires. Sometimes it's like, hey, you really need one right now. I'm not going to fire one at all. Lol. Cool. Okay, lots of big fellas. Dude, good jump. Calm yourself, please. Double charge for that bad boy. Gotta love that. One second. Right, let's keep this going. Sorry about that. I had to do some work stuff real quick. Right. A few more players in this good old spacebar item and we are rocking and rolling, I think. That just gave me the heart back that I lost to, to pick that up. That's funny. 
so many bosses. Right. Let's pop this one more time and we'll try and build up a charge for the actual fight itself. Don't need a golden penny, thank you. Right. So I think that's every room done. Now we've just got to try and somehow correctly choose the um, the right bosses that aren't the ones that we want, to, that aren't Delirium. So I think going and fighting the two over to the right first is the best shout. These two over here, because these two are facing inwards, they definitely can't be Delirium. Oh, what the fuck? Um, did not mean to do that. I don't even know what happened there. Legitimately, no idea what happened there. Cool. Dirty mind. Nah, thanks. I don't think this one below me can be Delirium either, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll take the, the thingy because this will give me hearts. Good, good. Right, yeah, it could be that one, so I'm not going to go for it yet. I'm going to go for the two all the way over to the left here. I know one of them it can't be, the other one I'm pretty sure it can't be. Oh god, been a bit of a long run this one, but it's been fun. Do love my Bombonomicon. It's pretty much the only thing I ever take when I get that library card, because it's just, it's so good and it's so fun. Okay, Blue Baby, unfortunately, is not an easy one for us. Oh, wait, what? I've just realised we lost time itself. That fucking book took it away from us. I was wondering, I was like, why aren't I getting the time itself procs? Yeah, it took it away from us. That kind of, I wouldn't say it ruins things, but it makes things a lot trickier. Because that bomb synergy was going to be the thing that killed Delirium really fast. Annoyingly. Need to stop moving, fella. The Halo. I guess we can take the Halo for the heal and stuff. We got Seraphim out of it as well. Very nice. Right, then we'll do this boss, which I'm hoping isn't Delirium. It isn't good. Dude, all of the endgame bosses. Wow. Darf. I'm so fucked off that it took time itself from me. It's very, very frustrating. I mean, this, this bomb setup we got going on right now is still pretty goddamn good, as you can see. That was a little bit of a bummer. Ooh. Okay, uh, I'll definitely be taking number two. Right, now it doesn't matter if we get Delirium. <laughs> number two means we now have unlimited bombs, which I think is pretty good. Right, now let's go to the one that I actually think is Delirium, which I think is the one all the way at the bottom there. Yeah, number two's a good shout for us here. I'm going to be killing this guy pretty much exclusively with bombs. Let's go... Delirium, is this you? It is.
We're definitely going to hurt ourselves with bombs here, so we've got to just be sort of okay with that fact. Got Soul Heart there for some reason. <laughs> the Brimstone Bombs plus Scatter Bombs are the two that are, are really doing a good job for us here. I don't know where that bomb went. Oh, it was stuck to him, so it teleported with him. Nice. Also, Glitter Bomb's leaving some stuff on the floor for us here. Rather nice. I don't know where the second angel came from, but I'd like it if it went away. Also, why are the feathers so fuck and massive? Very unsure as to what's really going on at the minute. There's hearts all over the place, though, so we don't have to worry about dying, I don't think. <gasps> There's a charged key up here. Let's get Welting Sack in there as well, why not? Hehehe. <laughs> Isn't this a sight to behold? Only thing is the brimstone bombs are pushing pushing him away. We have fast bombs as well in this bitch. Beautiful stuff there. Beautiful stuff. That was a symphony of death. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy. We managed to get spin down unlocked. With a pretty fun run there as well. Bomb and Omicron is just an absolute blast on the delirium floor. It would have been even better if we still had time itself, because it would have been glitchy and created a thousand million bombs. But still, we unlocked Spin Down. I'm pretty goddamn happy with that. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.